I'm not an artist. Most of my own stuff just looks like this. See? Oh my god. No, no art skills required. But I want to make an anime avatar today. And so I use Vroid Studios. This is literally a bulked up version of the me creator that Nintendo uses. I'm not you. You're me. <laughs> Wait. What is this? Oh! Like, the sheer amount of options you have is crazy. Plus, you can download it on Steam if you want. I literally was just messing around and no joke made this avatar in 40 minutes. All right, so we download and hop in. The layout is super simple. You s start with a base and then you just work your way down and then you go over to the next tab at the top and then you work your way down and you just go all the way across working your way down, making the avatar how you like it. It's all in like chronological order. So let's make some something really simple real quick there's more complex ways of doing things but it's always best to just start out with something simple and then work towards more complex stuff later on so i start with base avatar set the face how i like it like something cool like color it how i like it and then also do the expressions which uh <laughs> the only one i really changed were the eyes because they seem to be clipping a bit so i made it so that they weren't like that and then the angry face i, I made it look like he lost his family or or, or Krillin got killed or something. For the hair, I put a few bases I like together. And then you can actually click on it. And then edit it. And then you just kind of like move this cage around their head. You can do more complicated stuff like mess with how the hair bounces. And avoid clipping and things like that. But once again, I just want to get the feel for it. So I'm not doing any of that special stuff. After getting the hair how I like it. I put on the outfit. And boy do I look good in a made outfit. But we're going to go with some sweatpants and sweatshirt. Then we have uh, some preset accessories. So naturally I put all of them on. There was only two. Glasses and uh bunny ears i'm not a fairy i swear i swear you go to the look and then you can also mess with the inverted hole so i crank that bad boy all the way up export this baby as a vrm went to unity and well it was really simple because there's this asset that you download and drop it in it does literally everything for you the only thing you have to fix is the island the rest of it works just by default and so I just uploaded it to VRChat. This video in the description explains how to manage the plugin. Now you have to check out how ChatGPT makes a VRChat avatar. Come on. Come on. You know you want to.